Hi everybody, welcome back to Cars and Guitars. I got the Jag in the booth here, it's all back together. Did all the bodywork on it, painted the underside of the hood. So I just finished spraying the high build polyester primer yesterday. And I used the pink stuff that goes on pink and sands gray. So you can see over here, then you don't need a guide coat. You just block sand it down, you can see your high and low spots. So I sprayed right over 80 grit sand scratches, you can see there. I finished it in 80 and they all came out and you can see my high and low spots here. So once I start hitting metal, you stop, obviously. You keep sanding, not really doing anything, but making more of a mess. And when you spray uh, these high build polyester primers like that, you got to make sure how you spray it. You got to spray it really even. If not, uh, you can make your body work a bit bad. You'll have lumps in it if it's not sprayed even. So it's twice the work when you're block sanding. And I got quite a few different blocks up here I'm using. You can see that that one's got a bit of a curve to it so I can use that on uh, the scoop here and on some of the front that curves down. And then on some of it, I have to use the flat block so I use this one. And just the small ones that go in tight spots. Oh yeah, and I used this spray gun. I bought this on the uh, that site wish. Now I know why they call it wish because you wish you didn't buy it after you did. Uh, I put, I uh, mixed up that uh, high build polyester primer and as soon as I poured it in the, the cup, it started leaking all over. So I took the cup off and I tightened it all up inside and still leaking all over and wouldn't spray properly. So just to let you know, be careful what you buy. That's just your garbage I threw it out I just wanted to show you that it was garbage so watch what you buy anyways I'll keep block sanding this down and then I'm gonna put three coats of high build primer on it block sand that down and then I'm gonna paint the whole car the rest of the car is already done and all sanded ready for paint I'll just have to tear it apart and remask it obviously but uh, yeah anyways I want to show you too actually these sanding blocks you got to be careful when you are sanding because of the curve on this one here. Um, if you're sanding, if you can see here, it's lifted up a bit in the center. So what happens when you're block sanding, you end up digging in on each end of the block. So you got to be careful when you start sanding, especially where you have uh, the pink areas here. And you start block sanding, just take a look at where it's sanding and you can see that it digs in in spots. So you just have to be careful or when you're pressing on it, put your hands over the whole block so it has pressure evenly over the whole thing. And that'll make it uh, easier for block sanding and a lot uh, nicer finish when you're done. You won't have little grooves in there. So just a little reminder if you're block sanding. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching Cars and Guitars. I'm John Bluen.